purchase, purchase, purchase. Oh, man. The Trump NFT sold out. Man, you gotta be quick on the trigger. Welcome, I told you they would. Check the tape yesterday, I told you they would. Welcome to Open Mic, we like to start the show with a few stories or a hot take on a story you're not likely to see anywhere else. I'm from gorgeous Prince George's and now I spill the tea in DC, so you know these jokes come from a place of love, if in fact that was something I was capable of. You know what, it's Friday. I'm capable of love for at least 15, 25 seconds. Let's start things off on Twitter with the account formerly known as Dan Snyder's Yacht Tracker, which as the name suggests, uses publicly available data, uh, let me repeat that, publicly available data to track the whereabouts of Dan Snyder's yacht, recently changed his Twitter handle to Dan Snyder Delayed Yacht Tracker after Twitter banned an account that was posting location information on Elon Musk's private jet. Very, very smart move, Delayed Yacht Tracker. Just go ahead and put those loopholes to work for you. I'm just gonna repeat that a third time. Publicly available data. So yeah, nothing that anybody can't get. But the description that, the description for the account now reads, tracking Dan Snyder's yacht and jets. Posts about yacht and jet data will be delayed and not live location data, you know, that's also freely available on the internet. So there you have it. No one can accuse this account of doxing a billionaire. They're simply documenting where Dan Snyder decided to travel to in ostentatious fashion. We'll see if Elon Musk cares about that since he's at the point where he's suspending journalists who criticize him after repeatedly professing his love for free speech. Twitter, freedom of speech, just don't say anything Elon doesn't like. And for that reason, it'll be very interesting to see how long the Dan Snyder delayed yacht tracker can stay active. We might need a tracker to find that account's whereabouts when this is all said and done. In fact, you might need an account to find just about everybody's whereabouts when this is all said and done. We're headed to Hollywood for this next story with a trailer for Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling's Barbie movie just dropped. Thank goodness my daughter is still at the baby doll stage. Not over the top at all, very understated. Now this trailer had everything, dramatic music, famous people, special effects, choreographer, choreography, and a whole lot of pink. The only thing it actually didn't have was anything about the plot. People have been wondering, what is this movie actually about? And apparently the answer was Barbie. Now we already knew that much movie trailer. Give us something to actually work with. Now I can't see Margot Robbie and not think about Harley Quinn. I mean, she killed it as Harley Quinn. She also killed a lot of people as Harley Quinn, but that's besides the point. Time will tell how good or bad of a movie this actually is. What we do know is that it's hitting theaters July 21st, which happens to be our producer Adam's birthday, so clearly his plans are already set. This last story comes to us from Phoenix, Arizona, where a driver was cited for using an HOV lane with an inflatable Grinch figure in the passenger seat. And you know what? I respect the effort. I do. That was a nice try. My heart just grew three sizes larger. Hopefully, hopefully that's not hypertension. The attempt was so funny that the Arizona Department of Public Safety tweeted about it, writing, last week an Arizona trooper spotted a driver in the high occupancy vehicle HOV lane with a suspicious looking passenger on I-10 at Avondale Boulevard at 8 a.m. The trooper stopped the driver and determined the grumpy green guy was, in fact, an inflatable Grinch. No other passengers. Suspicious, huh? You don't say. Look at law enforcement embracing puns. You know what? They should have let this guy slide for his creativity alone. I mean, they had to give him a ticket since they put his attempt on blast by tweeting out the picture, but if they let him slide, it would have encouraged other people to travel with the Grinch in the HOV lane. But I don't encourage or condone this kind of thing. But if you're going to try to scam your way onto the HOV, 
How about you don't use something big and green as your passenger? I'm just saying. You get a mannequin or even a pile of laundry and a baseball cap, something as green and popular as the Grinch is probably going to draw one too many eyes. Once again, I'm not encouraging anybody to break the law, but if you're going to, work smarter. My favorite story, you know, it's got to be the Grinch HOV guy. That is, that is just flat out excellent. It didn't work for them, but you know what? It works for me, man. Right now, we're going to switch up the gears and bring in a newish segment. Every Friday, we want to help you make your weekend plans. So we'll highlight some activities courtesy of our friends at Get Up DC. Here is Michelle Logan. Well, there is less than two weeks until Christmas and Hanukkah starts this weekend. I'm Michelle Logan and we rounded up some of the best holiday events in our nine things to do in the DMV article. You can just point your phone at this QR code to see it. But here are three of my favorites in the district. The annual lighting ceremony of the National Hanukkah Menorah is this Sunday. Head to the ellipse from 315 to 545. It is free, but you do need to reserve a ticket. There will be live presentations, music and food, and also this event is broadcast all over the country so you can watch it virtually if you can't make it in person. And tomorrow in Maryland, bundle up and head to the National Harbor for a fireworks and light show. That will come after a tree lighting ceremony of a 60-foot tree. This event starts at 5.30 tomorrow night. Going to Virginia now, the Bull Run Festival of Lights has been a tradition for more than 10 years now. It's a drive through holiday light show at Bull Run Regional Park in Centerville. It'll stay open nightly through January 8th. Again, for more ideas of what to do this weekend, you can see our full list of nine things to do in the DMV on WUSA9.com. Have a great weekend. I love it. A little something for everybody. Huh, what am I going to be doing this weekend? Oh, that's right. Allez Blue! Allez Blue! Come on, France. Only you could save us just from some nauseating Messi and Argentina coverage. Coming up after the break, we look back at when fires were raging in New York and the changes to prevent future ones. And I'll drop the mic on a survey listing the most popular holiday desserts in the DMV and air out my gripes with it, which, which were many. And what is, by the way, your favorite holiday dessert? Hit me up. I'm at Reese Waters on most social media. Mr. Reese Waters on TikTok. Or email rwaters at wsa9.com.